So Peter's hungry, he's having this vision, he sees this come down and he looks at these and it says, here, Peter, you're hungry. Why don't you eat something here? So what is he seeing? He's seeing animals that are specifically designated as unclean animals in Leviticus chapter 11, that according to the Mosaic law, were animals that you were not supposed to eat. And for us, that's foreign. Mm -hmm. But for Peter, that was such a, a thing you thought about every day when you went to the market. Can I or can I not eat this? That it would have been very impactful to him. If I can for a second, I'll tell a quick conversion story sure. of my fourth great grandfather. He was a pig farmer. <laughs> uh, and he had a dream when he was getting ready to join the church. He was meeting with the missionaries. And he told his wife, if God does not answer me tonight, I will not get baptized. And so he had told this to his wife and he went to bed and he had a dream. He was sitting in his house, the door opened up and the ugliest pig he'd ever seen in his life came walking in. <laughs> and you go, well, why a pig? But to him, he was like, well, I deal with pigs all the time. And it came and it sat down in the back corner of his house. He woke up, he was so excited. He woke up his wife and he said, I got my answer. I'm not joining the church. And she goes, well, why is that? And he explained the dream. And he said, that pig that came into my house is Mormonism. Hmm. And so it's, it's dirty. It's bad. It's new in my house. I don't need it. And so he went back to bed and he had the exact same dream. Similar to Didn't Peter. get the message. Didn't get the message. The exact same dream, but he waited a little bit this time. And the door opened a second time and in walked a prized pig that he was like, I wouldn't butcher that. I'd want that to show off because mm -hmm. it's a perfect immaculate pig. And as he waited and he saw these two pigs sitting next to each other, he said, what is the Lord trying to tell me? And a messenger in the dream said, let me explain it to you. The pig that's kind of beat up and really ugly is the current state of religion. That it's kind of been interpreted by man. It's mangled. It's not pure but you've been presented with the pristine pig in the Book of Mormon and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. That is what you have. And it's now in your life, you should be baptized. Wow. And so for my great-grandfather, this was his life. He right. was used to seeing things through that. And it's the same with Peter. Peter.